<laughs> Being in the back seat, so much fun. So, are you working? Mm hmm. Where are you working at now? Um, patient care. Okay. Do you like it? You like taking care of people? Yeah, I've been doing it a long time. Are they old or are they disabled? No, they like old. Like, some of them be old. They say all kinds of things to you. Oh, I They'll would snap on somebody. I don't pay them no mind. Oh, my goodness. Not Now, this ain't nothing that happened every day, but it, it has happened. Well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of crazy that. to say mean like nasty stuff to you mm -hmm. when they <laughs> when I they're mean they're a captive audience. These people be crazy. Like one yeah, man, you know what they're going to do. He he'll, he'll say, "Excuse me, like come and give me some of that and all this crazy stuff." Oh. And then like <laughs> I was like, "No, I'm not doing that." I said, "You need to apologize to me right now." Yeah, it's not very smart to make people mad that take care of you. He knows he's doing wrong. I don't pay him no mind. I go mess with him. He can't even walk. He can't even do that. So, like, he does not care about nobody. You could be black, white, orange, yellow. He don't care. He nasty to everybody. Wow. Nasty. Are there any of them that get that are nice? That it, like? Oh yeah, it's a lot of nice ones. Kay and John dig deep into Vicky's job as a nurse's assistant. Just sweet old people. Yeah, you got something out. But when you're nice, you get further. Like, you, I'll go out my way for you when you're nice. Right. So I'll go to the soda machine, buy you a little dollar, ch change soda, you know. Nah, right. I'll go in the refrigerator, get something to drink, get you anything you want. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite client? Mm, I had some favorites. Like, this one man, he liked to, like, dance. Like, but he sent his tree. He can't walk it. He liked to just like listen to his music, like old time music, and tell us like how he used to be back in the day, how he used to go out, and he like the ladies' man and stuff. It's Then I got another lady. She like a she like the Wicked Witch from the Wizard of Oz or somebody, <laughs> cause her hair is really long, and she's really petite and little. But and I wash her hair first up. She don't like it, but it's very thick. It needs to be washed. Have you ever gotten attached to somebody and then they pass away? Like one of those? Oh yeah, I had that too. I was crying real bad, this man. He, I bet. He um was my patient every day. And one day I came in, I know he was, well, he was getting sickly. And I wasn't expecting him to go like that. Mm -hmm. Like hospice people, over time, you know they're passing, but I ain't know you was gonna go tomorrow, no. Do you ever get used to it? You've probably seen that a lot. Yeah, I've been in a dead body before. Yeah. Well, what, you know, we got to make them look presentable for the family coming in. What, what's that like, to well, clean the be, dead body? They be cold. Not, well, yeah, they be cold. No, and they just be laying there, and they be real quiet in the room. So, like, when you make them presentable, do you, like, what do you have to do? You got to wash like, them and dress them? Sure you put clothes clean, on them? Make sure they're clean. And, you know, you don't want them to be all smelly and looking, they make, like, comb their hair, like, make, put a hospital gown on them or whatever. You know, just make them look like they look before yeah. they, um, you don't want the family coming there and they looking all crazy. Oh, That's no. upset them even more. So, right. You know, and then just laying there looking, look, looking comfortable. 